Hello my lovely Libras. I hope whenever you're watching this you are having a great day today. My name is Rachel and welcome to your weekly tarot card reading. This is for all Libra sun, moon and rising so please take your energy that resonates. If it doesn't resonate then please leave it where it is. Okay Libras, can you believe that next month is November? So we're going to do what is coming your way in the month of November uh, 2022. So let's have a look what we have okay so the first card that came out from the rebecca campbell work your light oracle card deck is warrior woman if you weren't afraid what would you do so i feel that this the month of november for you libras you need to be a bit of a warrior um you need to go for the things that you've been putting off go for the things that you dream of but you don't feel that you're good enough that you don't feel that um, you can do it. Maybe you feel that you haven't got the skill set or the knowledge or maybe for some of you, you might be feeling what will people say. I've also got an energy here that there could be romance here. But they're not your usual kind of person you go for and you're worried, you're worried about what people are going to think. Because they're very different to the people that you have been out with before. So you're worried about what people are gonna think think of you or think of your partner. Um, that's not for all of you, that could just be for some of you, but I feel for the month of November, you need to go for the things that you really wanna go for and not be afraid of them either. From the bottom of the deck, we do have trust and niggle. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? So you got this feeling that maybe you want more out of life, maybe you want to go for it with this person. Um, you just got this this niggle that something either isn't right or it's just something that you should be doing, but you're fighting it. You're you're not going for it. You're fighting it because you feel that you can't do it. You're worried about what people are going to say. You're worried that you haven't got the right knowledge, skill set, whatever it may be. The universe is saying, as you can see here, trust that niggle. Trust that feeling. The feeling that you're getting, trust it and follow that niggle. And then just go for things that you want to go for. Be a warrior. It's time for you to stand up and be a warrior. Okay. So let's get into tarot and see what's going on for you, Libra. So I'm also a, a Libra sun, so this is also resonating with me. So let me know if it's resonating with you so far. Okay, so we have the uh, Four of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Hierophant card. We also have the Page of Wands and the Strength card. And on the bottom of the deck, we do have the Ten of Swords. So the overall energy I'm getting here for your reading, Libra, is that you've been in a bit of a painful, traumatic, bad cycle. This could be in the last few weeks, few months, but for some of you, it's been a, it's been years. It's been a really long time. But the universe is saying that this cycle is about to come to an end. This painful um, journey that you've been on, it's starting to come to its completion. We're starting to move into something bigger and brighter. And I feel that's why they're saying you have to be a warrior. I feel that you have been a warrior all this time, Libra. Um, and it's it's your time now. I feel that it's your time. Uh, and trust that niggle. I really do. I'm really getting a strong pull here, Bib. You have been a warrior, Libra. You really, really have been a warrior um, with things that have gone on. And that's why this painful cycle is about to come to an end. And now trust the niggle and trust that feeling that you have and follow that journey. So your personal theme for the month, Libra, is the Four of Pentacles. This is about saving. So it could be the fact that you want to start saving to take a trip like um a go traveling or you want to start saving for a um buy, to buy your own home or you want to start saving to start your own business um anything like that but you feel like finan for, for financially you want to start saving for something that you want for your future you're starting to look towards your future and the things that you want and the things that you desire and you're starting to think if i want to receive want to get that if i want to uh, be able to have that into my life i need to start looking at my the way that i 
um, have my financial situation and I need to start putting money away. I need to start saving for the things that I want in my life. Um, I've also got here, uh, which is something that would bring me joy, um, is the Knight of Pentacles. So you've got the Four of Pentacles, which is this, this is a month to start saving. It's to start saving for the things that you really want to have. And it's going to take time to get there. But I feel that you need to keep it in your mind of, of planning it all out. So let's just say that you're planning a um, around the world trip. You wanna go traveling by yourself, with your partner, with friends, whatever it may be. It's gonna take time to save that money up, but keep the goal in mind. Keep like planning out where you want to go and, and what you want to see at every country and you know, what time of year you wanna go. Do you wanna spend a whole year? Do you wanna do six months? How much do you need to save? I think it's gonna be, um, it's gonna take its time to save the money that you need and want to save but keep thinking about the end goal keep thinking about what it is you want to achieve what you're saving for whether it's um a traveling a house a, a start a business a wedding a, a baby whatever it may be but it's time to start saving and i feel as well for some of you it's also asking you to look at different ways you can bring money in that's going to bring you joy. So let's say that you love to create things, you love to make things. Can you make that can you make more of those things um and sell them? Because that's going to bring you joy and that's going to bring you the financial abundance that you want. But this is whatever it is that you want to save for, this is what you're stopping yourself doing and it's time to start moving towards the things that you really want. So a challenge you may face is the Hierophant card. The Hierophant card is a teacher, very spiritual. Um, so I feel with this card here that the challenges that you're going to face is that someone might be coming in to try and... Um, okay, thank you. I feel that someone's going to come in and try and teach you about travelling or teach you about buying a house, but it, it, it might feel really daunting with the things that they're going to say. So they're not tell you just all the good things, they tell you all the bad things and all the hard working things and all of that stuff are, are to, to be able to get to your destiny, to be able to get to the situation that you're going to feel like you just can't do it and you'll want to give up and you'll just want to carry on with life as it is. But this is asking you not to do that. Uh, the universe is saying this is coming in to prepare you, to teach you, to help you understand every aspect of the things that you want to be able to go for the things that you truly want. So even though you feel that it is a challenge, it's actually going to be a really good thing for you to know all of these things so that it's not thrown on you unexpectedly and then you have to deal with it. It's like this person's coming in to teach you to prepare you, but you're going to see it as a challenge. You're going to see it as someone's coming in to rain on your parade or something like that. So, you know, just it is going to be challenging for you to receive all this information, but just understand that this here, the universe is making this person teach you to prepare you for what's going to be coming your way. So the way that you can address this is the page of wands, which is a great card to have. It's about new beginnings, about manifesting your the, the things that you want into your reality. It's also about new ideas. And I feel that once you get all this information that you need, you're going to start thinking about uh, how can I get to this point? How can I do this? How can I... Um, Okay, thank you. How can I um, bring this into my fruition right now? And then you're going to start having like these downloads and this inspiration, these ideas that's going to propel you forward and it's going to be able to um, deal with these challenges with much more ease and um, grace. Okay, with grace. So I feel that you are going to, this is a new beginning for you. This is a brand new beginning for you, Libra. And you are going to have all this inspiration coming your way. Now, the advice for this month is that you are going to have to use your inner strength. You are going to have to be strong. Now, I feel with the painful journey that you've been on, Libra, you are strong. You are um, a warrior. 
you are a warrior. So this you can handle. You can handle. You can handle this. But you are going to have to call upon your inner strength. You are going to have to talk to your angels. You are going to have to really trust and believe in yourself. And know that no matter what challenges come your way. That you have the strength and the power within you. To be able to push through it. And get to the other side. So let's get a Moonology Manifestation card for you. So what do you need to manifest for the month of November, Libra? What does Libra need to manifest for the month of November, please? Okay, so the card that came out was talk less and feel more. Okay, so I feel that you can do as much talking as you want to, but to know the directions that you need to go in, to know what feels good to you, what feels aligned to you, you need to feel. You need to listen to your intuition. You need to trust the niggle. Okay, you need to trust that niggle. And underneath that card there was protection. So the universe is saying that you are protected. They are protecting you. Trust the niggle and feel into it. Because when it feels good and it feels right, it is right. Okay, on the bottom of the deck, what do we have? Be real, full moon in Aquarius. So it's like be, be who you are. Be authentically yourself. And people are going to say, oh, you can't do that. What do you want to do that for? But just ignore them and just be the real you and follow the niggle and be the warrior that you are, Libra. And that will bring your manifestations into your reality. That's all I've got for you today, my lovely Libras. That's for your month of November. Thank you for spending that time. I really do appreciate it. If you'd like a personal reading with me, then please do check out the link in the description box below. where You can book a reading through my Etsy shop. Don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe and the notification bell and it will notify you every single time I upload my videos. Um, and if anything resonated with you today, then do drop it in the comment box below. Um, I hope whenever you're watching this, you are having a great day today. Enjoy the rest of your week and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys.